everyone. Welcome to another Sunday School episode. Today I have a really nice story that I'm going to tell you. It's about Saint Marina. Saint Marina, she had parents like mommy and daddy, like you. And her parents were not Christian. They worshipped the idols and the statues. When Saint Marina was five years old, her mom died and she didn't have her mom anymore. So her dad was not able to take care of her and he thought that a nanny would be a really good option. So he would leave her with the nanny so that she can take care of her and raise her her the right way as if her mom was there so that nanny turned out to be christian and she and marina always saw the nanny praying and and she loved jesus so much and praising god so she saint marina wanted to to learn the same thing so the nanny would tell her stories about the saints and the martyrs of the church and when Saint Marina was 15 years old, her dad died. She went out with the nanny and she, they were walking. And at that time, there was a governor that didn't like the Christians at all. But keep in mind, he didn't know that they were Christians. So Saint Marina was very beautiful, just like all of you. He was like, okay, well, I wanna, I wanna marry her. And Saint Marina was like, never, I'm not gonna marry him because I love Jesus and I'm gonna just be, I'm gonna be like the martyr and I love Jesus. I'm never gonna go and marry anyone. When the governor found out, he got so mad. He's like, no way. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change her mind. I'm gonna be able to change her mind. I'll give her gifts. I'll give her presents. I'll give her many things that she can have and then she'll just change her mind. But no, what do you guys think happened? She stayed strong in the faith and she loved Jesus so much. So she never changed her mind. So the governor got really upset and he wanted to put her in prison. And then he started torturing her, but nothing happened. Every single time he would torture her, the angel will appear to her and heal her. He promised Saint Marina that she will be baptized. Hmm, how's that gonna happen when she's in prison? What do you guys think? One of the tortures that the governor wanted to do is that he tied her hands and her legs. And he told her, I'm going to put you down. I'm going to, this is like a really hot boiling water. And you're just, we're, we're going to put you in there. Uh-oh. That's, I don't know. Like, what do you guys think? She was tied. She can't move. She looked up to heaven when she was placed. And she's like, Jesus, I need your help. I need your help. So what was, what is that called? She was praying. She was crying out for Jesus' help. Jesus helped her and the angel appeared and he removed like all the ties from her hand and her legs so she was able to move and then she was able to get immersed three times. They get immersed three times so in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. So when that happened, a voice from heaven came and said, Oh Marina, you have been baptized in the baptismal water. She was so happy. She was very happy and then she was all okay. So remember that water was like boiling, it was really hot, but then she was okay because Jesus protected her. The governor was so mad. He's like, oh my God, there's no way. There is no way to, to get this uh, lady to change her mind. So he's like, okay, I'm just gonna kill her. And this Marina, remember her nanny was always telling her about the martyr story in our church and she wanted to be just like them. So she decided that it's okay, I can be killed, it's fine. Before she was killed, uh, she asked the soldier, she asked him, can I, can you, before you kill me, can I just get some time to pray? <gasps> Prayer is very important. So she took her time, she prayed, and then she told the soldier, okay, now it's time, you can do what you were ordered to do. But the soldier was like, no, I'm not gonna do it. I believe in Jesus as well. So it wasn't only her, it was the soldier as well that was gonna kill her. So they were both killed that day and they received the crown of martyrdom. So our verse for today is, for we are the sons of the saints and we look forward for, to their life. For we are the sons of the saints we look forward to that life. So we are looking forward to be just like Saint Marina and all the other saints in our church. And we can find this verse in Tobit 2, 
verse 18. Okay, so what do you guys think is the most important thing from this lesson? I want to hear you. Prayer, good job. Prayer is amazing. It's the right answer because prayer saves St. Marina from so many things. All right, so I want you guys to promise me that every night that you will pray uh, to God and ask Him for help. No matter how big or small you may have a problem, but Jesus does really help everyone. See you guys next time. Bye!